Hello YouTube, RHJF back in with another video and today's video is going to be some updates that have happened on RuneScape since I've been away. If you guys didn't know, I went on a little vacation for the last couple days and that is why there was no videos, but as you can see, I'm still fishing here. I thought it was something AFK I could do while I show you guys some of the new updates and the first one here is actually going to make me lose some EXP and money, but it is well worth it and that is RuneScape got a new lobby and it looks slick, I must say. And the very first time I logged in today, I was like, what is this? But it's actually very nice looking, and it shows you all of your general, your Solomon Source stuff, the latest content, your Treasure Hunter, and then all of the old stuff that was here. And uh, But it looks really, really nice. And I'm not saying the old um, lobby didn't look good, but this looks really nice and is definitely up to graphical par of what RuneScape has started to look like uh, over the last uh, year or so with all the graphical updates but that is just number one and uh, this actually is number two right here Araxor the new solo slash duo boss that has come out came out two days ago and it looks like a very interesting boss and uh, I cannot actually do it right now but uh, in the future I will definitely look into doing it and uh, the two-handers are way high right now, so I would definitely suggest not buying into them and waiting for them to drop down because dual wielding and two-handers are basically the same DPS. I think even dual wielding is a bit better, and uh, the uh, two-handers are like 10 times the price or even more than that in some cases. So I would definitely hold on to your dual wields and not dump them like everyone else seems to have done and definitely hold off on buying your two-handers and uh, but definitely do use your two-handers and if you guys can do a rack soar definitely go for it and uh, hope maybe you guys will get lucky and maybe you guys will get one of the two-handed weapons and uh, make lots of money like the people I have been watching on Twitch which is actually the third thing third thing third thing which I'm going to talk about is the new Twitch integration into RS3 which I've only tinkered around with it a little bit but I'll show you guys so you go right here and then here's your Twitch stream and icon and uh, works better if you go over here so you log in whatever and here's the list of all the people streaming in the RuneScape category and how many viewers etc what their title is and uh, what you can expect from their stream and uh, if you do have an account, you go ahead and log in here, hit continue. If you don't have one, you go ahead and sign up. And then if one of these streams looks uh, interesting to you, maybe you want to watch um, I Trolled You doing the Araxor or Spark Mac PKing or uh, I Am Kiefer's doing some God Wars dungeon there. If any of those are appealing to you, you just simply click on there and hit watch broadcast. And it'll open up the Twitch TV link in another uh, tab in your browser and then you will be watching that stream and it's that easy now when I first saw this I honestly thought it was going to be something that played like in another window on your RuneScape so like you see the map here I thought maybe like it opened up like right here and you could watch the stream right here in your RuneScape tab so for those people that don't have dual monitors or stuff like that they could just watch the stream and play RuneScape at the same time which is what I was really, really, really hoping was what was going to happen, but maybe that will come in the future, but that is not how it is right now. It simply opens up into your Twitch, or it opens up into a new tab and goes to twitch.tv and loads it through that way. But I'm sure that uh, RuneScape would have to work out a deal with Twitch to make that happen. But I really, really hope that can happen, so that way the people, especially without Duel or Trio or Infinity, a number of monitors, can watch streams and play RuneScape at the same time instead of having to flip back and forth or not watching streams at all which is uh, just going to enhance RuneScape at that so say like I'm sitting here fishing which by itself is not that fun but if I had a little stream here of uh, SparkMac PKing for instance since he was live uh, streaming or uh, fishing for that matter would be a lot more entertaining because I could just look up here and uh, see, watch uh, Spark Mac PK, and then when I'm done fishing, simply go to the next location and then return to watching the live stream. So, those are a few updates that have happened since I've gone away. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying these features. If you are, drop me a comment down below on uh, 
uh, how you're going to use these features and if you think the lobby looks good. And uh, I really want to know about this Twitch thing that I was talking about. If they could get it to where you could watch it in your client slash browser oh, like there instead of having to open up another tab. If they could pull that off, that would be the greatest update probably that Jagex has come out with in a long, long time. That's how strongly I feel about that because streaming, I don't know if you guys watch Twitch streams. I'm sure that at least some of you do. And you guys know, especially for you that only have single monitors, either having to split your screen in half or uh, simply just flipping back and forth gets rather annoying and uh, sometimes turns you off of streams. But if they could sit it right here in your screen or you could make it however big or small, it would put a lot more people watching the streams and... Uh, It'd be a lot, lot better for the RuneScape community, and the whole RuneScape community would be a lot closer and a lot better for that. So, as I was saying, if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe if this is your first video for me, leave the comments about these new updates, I want to see what your guys' opinions are on them. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a nice day.